Hi, my name is Sarah and this is my Indigenous Spirituality class at the University of Ottawa. So what we're doing today is we're working on a group project which is a continuation of a project that was started by our professor Marcelo and the Oberg. And the idea is to decolonize and indigenize the blanket exercise which will be brought into schools in order to teach future generations the story of settler and um, indigenous relationships in order to contribute to the reconciliation progress. So we are creating this um, kit to be used by our current generations as well as the, our future generations because the land on which we live it's called uh, the back of the turtle, turtle island and uh, that was this, the myth of creation of the people that have been living on this land for thousands and thousands of years. And actually, a student of mine learning the story that was kept by Jacob Moega and Wawati, the keeper of the, the legend of the of creation of this land, he drew the turtle on top of a geographical map that we got from uh, the internet. I circle my students they are recreating the same, the, the same design. So we are going to have a set of blankets that are going to show that actually we are living on the back of the turtle because the back of the turtle is the indigenous constitution of the people that inhabited these lands. And when the Europeans came and invaded our lands, our territories, they actually covered up, although they, they claimed that they followed the doctrine of discovery, in fact, they were covering up the wealth of nations that used to live here. And they created this political and economic demarcation of the countries. So nowadays we have the United States, Mexico, and the Central American countries. And of course, Canada as well, and Great Greenland. This understanding of the land, which was considered to be a living organism was covered up by the beliefs of the Europeans that used basically an administration demarcation of our countries. So our job is to remember that the land is actually like this because the turtle is never, is, will never go away, it's always going to be there. And uh, we are building this kit so we can pass that knowledge to our future generations. So that's the spirit of this exercise that we are doing with my students. This exercise, what we're, our goal is to teach reconciliation. And to us, it's not just about having Native students in the classroom. It's about having students of all cultures and, all, and full of diversity to represent Canada as, as itself and as a whole of the country is what it's going to take to reconcile this population and it's not just about teaching it it's about adding it into what we already have and making our culture more diverse yeah that's good to hear because I'm not indigenous but I want to be an ally in the process of reconciliation as a Métis student it's not just about us it's about how we've become who we are now and at which point we are now and how to gain and develop and be part of the conversation yeah, we're not trying to discount the blanket exercise that already exists. We're just trying to add um, another voice or more. That's what the project is trying to do. And uh, we're just contributing to making the project happen. The Indigenous Constitution exercise begins with participants partaking in the creation story of Skywoman, Gucci Manaju, and Nana Bozo. Blankets are set up depicting Turtle Island, and all participants can walk freely across the land. The blankets represent how the land is the base of survival, stories, ceremonies, traditions, and spiritualities for the hundreds of indigenous nations. In the 1500s and 1600s, the Europeans then discovered land, and we go through the colonial history of Turtle Island, from diseases to the Royal Proclamation to Métis rebellions, the Indian Act, and residential schools. With each colonial imposition, more and more gray blankets get folded smaller and smaller as indigenous peoples are forced off of their land. The activity concludes with the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and its 94 calls to action. The activity finishes with a sharing circle to debrief and share experiences. To my brothers and sisters alike, the fire that burns is in our eyes. We are the children of the sun. And if you feel on your own, Conception, this I know. We are a part of everyone. We are a part of everyone. We are a part of everyone. 
like to acknowledge specifically to two institutions that work at the University of Ottawa. One is the Program of Indigenous Studies and its chair, uh, Mr. Timothy uh, Stanley, who has graciously given us the funds to acquire some materials to build our exercises. I also want to acknowledge the, the student funding organization, which is called uh, English Ontario Public Interest Research Group, or OPER, its acronyms, or OPER, or GRIPO, its acronyms in French, because they have provided us not only with the funding necessary to do this project, but also they have allowed us to use uh, many spaces in the university and they have encouraged us constantly to undertake this project. Uh, on the same vein, I would like to acknowledge the mentorship and the vision keeping of our elders that have been sharing their wisdom with my students and with the placement that we receive at OPER. This project has been realized, conceptualized, designed and carried out by a, several cohorts of uh, brilliant students that I have in this past uh, 10 years and also by cohorts, by placements that uh, we receive at uh, OPER and together in a collective manner we have worked together encouraging each other, accompanying each other and sharing our visions with each other and we have succeeded in creating this tool that is going to tell the story of indigenous peoples on the back of the turtle. We have managed to succeed in this project because we have been following the call for consciousness that was the, the result of the many years that the Commission for Truth and Reconciliation of Canada has been working trying to give a truthful recounting of what happened in the colonial age of this country. The final report of the Truth and Reconciliation of Canada includes 94 calls for actions and we have undertaken this collective action to be embraced by our future generations and this is already happening with the Commission for Public Schools and it's going to also be embraced by the Catholic Commission for Secondary Schools as well as the Commission for Primary School. So this tool is going to be part of the curricula that our new generations will have to understand and live. This is the action that we have taken as a community on behalf of our kids.